What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you how to put some cool effects um, on your pictures. So first of all is let's open our Photoshop and import a picture that you want to use. As an example I'm gonna use um, the picture of Obama and his wife Michelle. So after you've done it what you want to do how, um, actually how can you see here uh, the picture is blocked so to unblock it you want to click you want to double click on it and just click OK. So after you've done it, um, we'll go here and click on planning options. And here, uh, what you want to do, I mean, what you want to click is on gradient overlay. And here, uh, we want to put opacity down, like kind of to here, like 30 looks pretty good. And after that, after we've done it, we're gonna click on color overlay as well. And here, here it goes. So first of all, you have to change the blend mode to screen is here. And how can you see the picture looks beautiful, but it's too colored. So we're going to change the opacity to a bit minimum. And um, the red is good, but what I want to choose is we, we want to change it to blue. Kind of dark blue, bluish. And hit OK. Now how can you see now it just looks perfect and let's compare how was it before and just look here and how can you see it just looks great and you can really play with it choose different colors or effects um, just do whatever you want and if you don't really want to ever you just can disable it and just play with the opacity of it um, of the color overlay but I prefer using gradient overlay as well. So after you've done it, you can save it. Yeah, but uh, what I want to do, I want to continue put some kind of darkness effects. So what you want to do is um, choose, click on convert to smart object here, and go to filter and click to lens correction. Sorry. And here it goes. So we're clicking custom and putting the budget to negative 800. Say what? Yeah, negative 800 or yeah, it looks pretty nice. Now to be done, it just clicking OK. Why? What is stupid? Okay, just gonna leave it as a hundred. So even now it looks just perfect, and it is. It just gives us this rounded effect and it just looks crazy and if you wanna add some blur brush effects you wanna go to filter blur and choose a Gaussian blur and here just add a bit just a bit of it because we don't wanna do uh, look so bad <laughs> not so bad sorry too blurish I meant so we're gonna add like Point three to make it just a bit blurish, and here it goes. How can you see? It looks just perfect, just amazingly perfect. And just after you've done it, I recommend you to save it um, in two formats. In the first one, we're gonna put PNG, click hit save, and don't just change it. Just click OK. And after you've done this one, as um, you want to save it as a I was still saving, sorry. Yeah, sometimes pictures are too big and it takes more time than usual because it's big and effects are good. So, after you've done it, um, I recommend you to save it um, in PSD format as well. Why? Well, because if you will close it, uh, the picture and if you'll have only PNG, you won't really change it. Um, so, I'll show it to you. After you open it um, with PNG, you won't have these effects um, to change that you've done before. But with PNG, um, you can change it right away. I'll show it now. So, how can you see it's still here? You can change it anytime. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. You just play with it. You can do really a lot of things with it. And if um, you can also play with um, this button. <laughs> I really forgot how, how it calls. So just, for example, you want to put a black and white effect. 
oh look at this even now with this um, lens correction it looks just amazing um, I hope I'm gonna save it as well um, so yeah that's pretty much about it so that's it have a nice day folks sorry I'm a bit sick today so yeah bye